Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We could only fit uh, 12, and I think it should be okay. We got 12 um, Ozark cast iron skillets. They're 12 inches in diameter. And we're gonna find out how many of these it takes to stop different bullets. First round, it's gonna be a 22 long rifle. This is 40 grains out of this Walter P22. Jasperi, you ready? I'm ready, ready to rumble. Okay, is it gonna ricochet? Uh, probably. Probably. Not. Let's go back. Oh. <laughs> okay, fire in the hole. Oi. Oh, that was so center. <laughs> I surprised myself. Wow. <laughs> Clear. Nothing happened. Wow, it couldn't have gone any more center, like literally. <laughs> I surprised myself. Ay cabrón. It's really center. Hmm. Hey, you, you, you surprised me. I know, I surprised myself too. <laughs> you wake up this morning with really good aim. Yeah, this morning I woke up, I was like, I'm gonna aim really good today. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing happened with the 22. Should I put a slow motion on the side? Okay. 9mm, we're using a 115 grain full metal jacket and a Glock 19X. That's very ready? I'm ready. I want to guess how okay. many. Uh, guess how many? Two. Oh, go through. Wait, wait, wait. Two. Go two? through two and stop in the third one. Uh, I feel like the same way. Maybe it'll stop on the fourth one for me. Okay. Let's see. Let's go see. We are hot. Just very ready. I'm ready. Fire in the hole. <laughs> because the second one, I thought nothing happened. Clear. Oh, only go to one. Oh, only one. These things are pretty tough. Wow. So it only went through the first one and stopped on the second one. That is amazing results. We were both wrong. These things are pretty heavy duty. No sign of the bullet anywhere. We'll probably end up finding it later. Um, yeah, no sign of that. Maybe inside? Inside the... I don't see anything. I'd look. Next round is going to be a 45, everyone's favorite, and these are the Hornady I'm using, and uh, hollow points, we're using a Glock 30. Is it 30? Yeah, Gen 4. Clear? No way! Wow. <laughs> what is going on? I guess we got too many cast iron skillets. <laughs> Maybe we should give away cast iron skillets. So, it went on the bottom. Well, at least the cool thing is we get to see the size difference. It made a little small, uh, bigger hole, that 45. Again, it hit the uh, second skillet. It did not go through the second one. Okay. Uh, I didn't think they were going to be this tough. We can make a whole bunch of eggs at the end of this <laughs> using different cast irons. <laughs> okay, next round. So we're not gonna play around. It seems like the um, smaller rounds are not working out. We're gonna, we have two more rounds to go through. I didn't wanna complicate this by bringing too many guns. I just went straight to the 500 Smith & Wesson and I picked the perfect round. It's the Extreme Penetrator from Underwood Ammo. This will do the job. Jasperi, you ready? I'm ready! Ready, Jasperi? Ready! Alright, 500, here we go. Oh, center! No, that doesn't happen. Today we have a, a good lucky day. One, two. Two. Wow, even a 500 only went through three? This is crazy. So one, center. How do I know center? There's a circle. <laughs> do you see the circle? Yeah. 
Okay. Two, center, semi-center. Three, there's little pieces of jacket here, but that's the third one. It hit the fourth, there's a little uh, ding over here. Oh, it'll crack the back too a little bit. So it stopped on the fourth one. We're still not seeing any signs of any bullets here. They're just falling out here somewhere, I know, but no sign of them. You know what I'm gonna do? I have some room over here. I'm gonna put this first one back. Just go on an angle. Because I just, I've been hitting way too center. I'm sorry. I usually off a little bit. <laughs> right, just buddy? Yeah. Okay. Next, uh, next round. The last round is gonna be the AK round. And uh, I've shot a lot of AK and the 5.56. Well, you know. I've shot a lot of AK and uh, AR-15. The 7.62 versus the 5.56 and the AK round, it's uh, a lot better in penetrating. It's a little larger caliber, so uh, it has some mass going through stuff, so it doesn't destroy too much. That's pretty ready? Ready. So I have a couple ideas. First, let's shoot it this way. Uh, 762 by 39. Okay, ready? Ready. Fire in hole. Clear. Looks like went through one, two, no way, it stopped on the third one. The 500 did a better job, but it stopped on the third cast iron skillet. Nothing happened to the fourth one. Okay, I decided to go back and bring out an AR-15. So we're gonna shoot the uh, green tip actually, the steel core. We're gonna see if it does any better job than that AK-47 that did uh, two. Stopped on the third one. That's better, you ready? I'm ready! Okay, go back. Back, back, back. I want my baby back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Fire in the hole. You can feel the... Clear. <laughs> Not bad, I'm actually... Really good on my accuracy today for some reason. Went center when I wanted to, went low when I wanted to, and went right on this, just using iron sights. So went inside the first one. You see that, pretty One, yeah. two, and it stopped on the third one again. Okay, these cast iron skillets are pretty tough. Not what I expected, hmm. Okay. Clear on this. I wanna also try it with the FN57. Go back to the pistol rounds. I wanna see what that does. The 22 stopped on the uh, first one. Let's see with the higher velocity what we'll get, okay? Let me get that real quick. FN57, and we're using these uh, blue tip, they're 40 grains. Oh wait, different mag. Too many mags. <laughs> okay, let's put it. We need to go back for this one too. This thing is traveling supersonic. Supersonic? Yeah. You ready? I'm ready! Clear. Double clear. <laughs> it hit right over there. Yeah. Make this. But that's it. It stopped on the second one. Shoot one more time. Do you think so? Yes. Okay, one more time. Uno mas. Uno mas. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit to the left. Clear. I, I keep hitting center. So it hit over here uh, a little bit to the left. Right? right? Right over there. Yeah. It's not going past the... Oh, and then it, uh, went, it curved out to the right a little bit. It looks like. You want me to hit it one more time, right? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. I want to see the, the, <laughs> the hole. Now. Now is exactly where you want it. Clear. So you did make a hole in it, right there. Yeah, but... Right there, so it made a hole inside. It did not do anything to the second one. Clean. That's the back. Yeah, it's correct. Okay. We're gonna go shotgun. I'm gonna do a bird shot, just to see what happens. 
Um, I don't think it's gonna go past the first one, but uh, let's try it out. That's pretty ready. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Oh! Look, it made the whole thing gray, but none of them went through. That's funny. Interesting. I know what everyone's gonna want us to do, shoot it with the 50 cal, but that's not gonna happen today. We're just gonna stop at the shotgun. But let me shoot it also with the slug and we'll wrap it up. Okay, Jasperito? Okay. Vamanos. <laughs> it's the FBI looking for us. Okay, so the next round is gonna be a 12 gauge slug. Oh, caught it. Right there. And let's shoot it, Jasperi. What okay. do you think is gonna happen to this one? Maybe go through two. Two? Yeah. The skillet is really tough. I know, this thing is uh, kind of uh, powerful too. So I don't know. Let's you ready? Oh, you're going on the side. Kind of went on the side. Okay, this doesn't count, I guess. Fine. But no, wait. It did kind of go, continue going through. Look. It went inside the second one. It stopped on the third one. You Wait, you said it was going to stop on the second one, right? And the third uh, Go on it through two. Yeah, I went through two, stopped on the second one. I'm going to call this uh, as it went through because on the second one, it made a hole going through. And it looks like it hit. The, the second one right over there the on the edge on the third one and it stopped so that counts you know so far we haven't been able to find any of the projectiles here okay that's it for this video we're gonna come back with these ones and shoot them with the 50 caliber see what happens that's gonna be in a different video for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe and as always thank you for watching we'll see you guys next time no there ain't no stopping us fly without boarding pass couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast Call me a shooting star Let them know you